In this episode of Bear TV News, we check out a career development workshop, knock down some pins at free bowling night, visit a local pottery store, check up on some of the latest Dupike Bear sporting events, and much more. Hello, you Pike viewers, and welcome to the February 2022 edition of Bear TV News. I'm Blake Maupin. And I'm Austin Williams. We are covering all the recent news of you Pike and our community. The University of Pikeville prides itself in its commitment to diversity. But in order to create a more understanding environment for all students, we have to be sensitive to the cultural differences of others. My co-anchor, Austin Williams, attended a presentation designed to assist in such efforts. The University of Pikeville hosted a cultural sensitivity event on Wednesday, February 3rd in the Optometry Building so the students could understand the importance of cultural backgrounds. Cultural sensitivity is being aware of cultural differences between the people around you, which is crucial to know if you are being professional or you're being kind. Um, I'm attending this event because I think it's really important as healthcare professionals that we learn about, you know, marginalized people, people from other cultures, races, ethnicities, um, genders, and I think that as a health, a future healthcare um, professional, it's going to help me, um, well, I say, mitigate my biases and even help me be able to teach yeah. other people when I'm presented with situations that are uncomfortable because talking about race is uncomfortable. Um, and I think that it only is wise that we learn how to do it better. The benefits of understanding cultural sensitivity is being able to understand and approach your peers with kindness. For me, it's about understanding individuals and understanding that we each come from a different background, we each have a different walk of life, and those really add to us as people. So at the end of the day, it's one of those things, how can you appreciate that? How can you take those things that someone's gone through, understand them better, and bring those lessons into what you go through on a daily basis as well? I'm Austin Williams with Bear TV News, signing out. Many of the new diversity initiatives we will be seeing on this campus will be spearheaded by the new Director of Diversity, Katrina Ruglis. She can be reached at katrinaruglis at upike.edu. Are you interested in getting a jump start on the job market? It's never too late to start dedicating time to career development. Thankfully, UPike has you covered. On February 4th, Darwin Kaiser from the Office of Career Development held a workshop on interview search strategies. Mr. Kaiser says that his office is offering more employment-based workshops, free written materials, and even a four-year program that's in development for students to take advantage of. This semester, uh, we have three things that we're working on. We're going to have a majors fair. We're going to have representation from faculty at almost every major on campus. The first 75 students who attend will get free Chick-fil-A lunch. Then we're hosting an etiquette dinner. We'll have a speaker in. And it'll be a served four-course meal. And then our third big event, we're doing a job and internship fair on campus. My goal is to have 50 employers. We're just getting it all together right now to do an invite to employers. You could email Mr. Kaiser or schedule an appointment with him at darwinkaiser at upike.edu or stop by his office on the first floor of admin and pick up one of his free post-graduation job guides. Are you looking for a fun, therapeutic activity close to campus? Do you want to support local businesses in Pikeville? Reporter Andrew Stratton has an answer to both of these questions. There are many different shops and storefronts across downtown Pikeville. Among these is You, Me, and Pottery. We sat down with Dina Hunt, the owner, to hear what she had to say about her business. Me and my daughter would go to Charleston and we would paint at a pottery place there and we enjoyed it so I decided to open one up here. A normal week we stay pretty busy. We have groups that comes in, comes in youth groups, uh, church youth groups, um, women groups will come in and then just, you know, customers, parents bring your children in. 
Additionally, the store offers a 10% discount for all students who attend the University of Pikeville. But we offer that to the students of U Pike to try to give back to the community here in Pikeville. As a matter of fact, they let me make one myself. Here's how it works. First, select which pottery item you'd like to paint. Next, choose your colors from their very large selection. When you're done painting, your pottery will be placed in a kiln where it will be baked twice. After this process, you, me, and pottery will call you to let you know your piece is ready. This is Andrew Stratton with Bear TV News. While Andrew was busy painting pottery, reporter Nancy Brown was pursuing pins at Classic Lanes as fellow u -Pike students enjoyed a free bowling night earlier this month. On February 3, 2022, over 100 University of Pikeville students attended the first free bowling night of the semester. Held at Classic Lanes right here in Pikeville, it's one of the most beloved events held by the Campus Activities Board. I'm a senior, so I've been coming all four years. It is my favorite event that the school has, yes. Classic Lanes is also home to U Pikes award-winning men and women's bowling teams. They practice and hold tournaments here in the bowling alley. Free Bowling Night was organized by Campus Activities, which you can find here in the Center of Student Engagement on U Pikes campus. Adam Lanos is the Assistant Director of the Campus Activities Board. I started my employment here at the University in March of 2018. Um, so this March will be coming up with four years. Now. There are many upcoming events this semester that campus activities are excited to hold. I'm really excited for the, the things that we have coming up for Black History Month. Next week we have an epic rap battle of Black History. Uh, we also have at the end of the month um, a night of excellence with the Black Greek Poets and the Meta Cap Alpha Psi. Free Bowling Night is just one of the many on-campus activities here on U Pike provided by the Campus Activities Board. Other popular events the students love include What's Up Wednesday, Trivia Night, and Bingo. You can find out more about these events by checking your email or Campus Groups app. I'm Nancy Brown, Bear TV News. Many U Pike students are engaged in all kinds of creative projects outside of their classwork. One such student is combining his interest in video production with the creation of an alternate reality game. Andrew Stratton is an FMA student at the University of Pikeville with a very ambitious idea. So basically I'm making an ARG, which stands for an alternate reality game. And it has like hidden messages and like some of the stuff I say has hidden meanings. And like sometimes something will flash on the screen for a second, you've got to pause. And I decided to make like a little game out of trying to find these things. Andrew has a YouTube channel where he's been uploading videos since 2017 called Word and Not Hearts. His channel was a huge undertaking from the beginning. Back then I had this idea to create a series of videos that was just one giant interconnected story. Now that wasn't my original intent, but that's just sort of the idea I had. However, the ending of his most recent film, We Can't Take Our Eyes Off You, left the story of his channel facing a different direction. So I decided in the meantime, before I come out with a third film, which is coming soon, I would make a series of videos that were quite different than anything else I ever made. A parody of a normal type of video that I would do, except if you watch it with the eye to view these hidden messages, you'll find this is nowhere near a typical video that I've made. The reason for these videos creation comes from a combination of necessity and wanting to create interaction with his audience. This is kind of a way for me to A, make videos in the time where I'm working on a huge project, that being my next horror film, and B, also just create some kind of interactive game to get people talking. I look forward to your future projects, Word and Dots Hearts. But until then, I'm Seth Witt with Bear TV News, signing out. Thanks, Seth, for that story. We wish Andrew the very best as he pursues his project. The Film and Media Arts program, in partnership with What's Up Wednesday, is hosting their annual U Pike U parodies this coming March. Any current U Pike student can create a short film parody of a TV show, a movie, or a video game and screen it at the event. There will be $400 in cash prizes. For more information or to submit a film, contact the FMA program director, Andrew Reed, at andrewreed at upike.edu. Up next, we turn to the UPike Sports Update. 
Hey everybody, I'm Jack Mefford and I'm here to tell you all about the latest athletic news and events on campus. U-Pike women's basketball started a streak of conference wins on February 5th as they soared past Shawnee State with a strong 85-52 victory. The U-Pike Bears had an outstanding performance, especially when it came to rebounds. The Bears were also on fire as they had one of their best shooting averages of the season. The lead scorer of the game was junior Bailey Frazier, who had 20 points. Another standout player in this game was senior Sierra Feltner. The Bears really kicked it up in the second quarter of this game, creating a shooting average of 67% overall. Uplay continued to show out in the last two quarters of the game. Each Bear on the roster got to play this game and scored points, which led to the Pikeville Bears' big win over Shawnee State Bears. Yeah, it was, uh, it's always great to get Mid-South wins, especially here in the arena. So uh, being able to finish the year, I thought we got everybody in the game, everybody scored. Uh, we had a lot of people in double digits, and to be able to hold, hold that team uh, in the 50s was uh, good. We hit a lot of games. The women's basketball team went on to win three more Mid-South Conference games after the Shawnee State game. Unfortunately, their winning streak ended with a recent loss to Thomas Moore. At the time of this show, the Bears are standing at a 10-10 conference record, with two more games left before the end of their regular season. The U Pike men's basketball team is also edging near the end of their season as well. We caught up with sports reporter Cody Davis, who is the latest on the team. It was senior day at the U-Pike Gymnasium, but the Bears fell short 78-59 against the Cumberland University Phoenix on Saturday. The Bears were able to hold the game 10 all before Cumberland went on a nine-point run that would give them the lead. Check out those moves. The Bears answered right back, however, cutting the lead to 23-21 in the first half. Bears go down 37-26 at halftime, and they can't come back in the second half. Despite the loss, the Bears had three players in double figure scoring. Jacob Brown tossed in a team high 12 points. Corbin Spencer and Kevin Bishop both tossed in 10. The U Pike Bears have looked solid this season and have some promising things to show in postseason play. For more on the U Pike men's basketball team, be sure to visit upikebears.com. They have the latest on schedules, rosters, and stats for the team. With Bear TV News, I'm Cody Davis. In recent years, our women's soccer team has had some rocky seasons. However, the addition of new head coach Logan Langseth has had the team excited about their future. We got to spend some time with him while he was in his office undergoing renovations. Logan's approach to rebuilding the program to take things one step at a time. Honestly, like I would hope every coach, every player would say, you know, you want to win the ship. Um, but I do want us to do it one game at a time. So let's have the strongest, you know, uh, let's have the strongest um, uh, results that we can have for a season. And then, you know, that'll put us in a better place for the playoffs. And we'll do, you know, I want to win that, that second game. The first game, obviously, we want to win, but I want to get to the second game and win that. While UPike offers a variety of athletic programs to meet the interests of our student athletes, one group is looking to unite athletes from across different sports. Their goal is not to win an athletic event, but rather to support each other on each other's spiritual journeys. On January 27th, the UPIKE FCA group held a meeting in the gym. We spoke with William Rudisil, a member of the group, to get a deeper input on matters and how to help athletes with problems they may face on a day-to-day -day basis. Yeah, commend my life to Christ. At a young age, it was always, um, why, question of where was I at, you know, what was my purpose in life, and, you know, I found that at a young age, you know, I feel like God has a plan for my life, and when God has a plan for your life, it's hard to, you know, not listen to that call, you know, there's a, there's a calling on your life, and you feel it, you feel it at a young age, you know, um, you want to commit to it, and, um, the best advice I can give an athlete going through tough times, or any, all athletes in general, is one, um, know that people are out there to help you. you know, there's, there's not a time in your life you're going to be alone. You, know, you, you have people on your team that support you. You have your coaches. And secondly, I would say is find, your, find a group of five or six people and you know, allow for your circle to be small, but allow for your circle to you know, open up to you know, show them that, show them that you care about them and that they care about you and you know, do life with each other. You know, 
congregate and you know, share your stories. Third thing I would say is, if you're going through something, ask for help. You know? I'm Ben Tate, and this is Bear TV News. That's all for this episode's sports update. I'm Jack Mefford. Go Bears. Thanks a lot, Jack. Well, that's all for today's show. We'll be right back in a few weeks for more updates on the UPI community. I'm Austin Williams. And I'm Blake Maupin. This has been the February 2022 edition of Bear TV News. Stay classy, Bears.